Good morning, everyone. The day has the day has finally come, and so this is part one of multiple streams throughout the day. Um, hello, Nate. Actually, I don't know if those are live or from last night's podcast. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, so today's the day. iPhone 7 day. I guess you can't see it that well. So I got the iPhone 7 Plus. Sadly, the Jet Black, as I'm sure most of everyone knows, is, is impossible to find. So I settled with a gold. Um, they didn't, by the time I ordered this, um, it was pretty much the only color left. There may have been a rose gold one, but I'm not a big fan of any of the golds. Um, so I really just, yeah. It'll be for the review, uh, which I'm filming today, which is the main point of this is I want to answer any questions you have about the phone. You guys can see the unboxing, which I'll do in just a minute. Um, and then I'll probably end the stream shortly after that so I can start setting up um, to film everything. And then I will come back to this. Um, jump to the hello from Spain. Wow, that's awesome. Um, two people are watching this only, yes. I don't have a ginormous audience, and it's still a Friday, so people are working. Um, and th thanks so much, Kimberly. Um, yeah, sure, from yesterday. It is. I have not showered yet. I basically just got home from the UPS shipping center, so I'm going to unbox it. Basically, I have to restore from this, and this is 128 gigs, so it's going to take forever to restore. So I just want to show you guys the unboxing um and jump around the setup screens a little bit and then i am going to stop for a bit while it's restoring um i will <laughs> go take a shower and and clean up and stuff like that so um yeah so this is the 256 gig s um s uh seven plus in gold again you can't you can see it there so it's actually a new little sticker on the bottom for unboxing. It's a little different. Thanks so much for watching our podcast. That's nice. Wait till the 27th. Hey, it's not bad to wait till the 27th. Right now, the 128 Jet Black, I know, is shipping in January, it says, in December for the 256. Um, so let me adjust my webcam so you guys can see the unboxing this. Watching this from a pep rally at school. Yeah, who cares about school, right? Um, need my portable little thing. Bear back. All right. Get my handy dandy. Uh, did you just end? No, it's literally just getting started I have an unboxing thing I just want to be able to have you guys see the screen so I just need my little tripod here okay let's see the best way to do this that's that that's that that's my current phone all right Sorry if anyone gets nauseous easy. All right, this shouldn't be too bad. Maybe. All right, is that good for you guys? Is that a good uh, a view? Ooh, I've never done a live unboxing before. This is so fun. Um. Yes, it is definitely the, the plus. I wanted that dual camera. Sorry, Greg literally just texted me asking how the phone was, and I told him I'm unboxing it live now. Uh, okay. 
my handy dandy knife here, which I would normally use to unbox. It's my not fancy super old unboxing knife. But there actually seems to be a new little tab right there. You can see it. Um, they started to put these on the accessories boxes last year, but um, this is the first time on a phone, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and without, I know unboxing videos, people always take forever and they're like, just do it. Um, but it's, it's a big moment, guys. No, I'm kidding. So here we go. Wow. So the plastic literally just unwraps from it. So it, uh, it's totally that. Nice paper sound for you, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's definitely new. And then lift up here. It's not a super tight box. It is very interesting. And I saw it in MKBHD's video and a couple others that phone is not on top anymore. Usually this is underneath the phone, but we have this. Set that aside for now. Uh, Welcome to iPhone, tells you where the new stuff is, the 3D touch, kind of the basics, terms and conditions, and some white Apple stickers as per usual. Uh, for those of you international or anything like that, there's no SIM card tool that I have seen thus far. That will probably come in the unlocked version, which will come out later this year. Used to be a diehard iPhone person, then I love my Note. That's that's good. The Note is a fantastic phone. Then we got the little tab here to pull this guy out. Wow. All right. In a second. In a second. Got the same five watt charger here. Could always use more of those. I uh, got the new. Uh, I almost said AirPods, ear pods with the lightning adapter as well as the uh, very short um, auxiliary thing because there is indeed no headphone jack. What is my, what is my tattoo of? Uh, Think different. It's an Apple campaign that Steve Jobs started in 1997 when he came back. So yeah. Uh, and then your pretty standard charging cable. So I'll leave that stuff in here for now because I shouldn't need it. And of course, to the main phone itself. Again, this is the Gold 7 Plus. I'm going to take off all plastic. Love that sound. Um, if you're wondering why I'm not filming this part, my, my review, I, I don't really, I love the unboxing experiments. I don't really care to film it. Um, and don't you have one that says simple? Um, yeah, this arm says live simply. And then this is altruism. And that's all I have. Uh, I'm totally fine with, uh, the headphone jack being gone. The, um... I think everything is going wireless and so it, it just kind of makes sense to do it now and in a year no one's gonna care at all I will say so so this is the 6s plus so this is last year's so I guess I'll do a comparison the 7 I suck at telling weight but it, it feels heavier probably I mean the bigger battery more cameras stuff like that um, I will say I am super happy with them getting the antenna lines down. That's really why I want the Jet Black one too, is because it's even more invisible than this. Um, but I am happy that there's no more horizontal line going across the side. Um, will the lightning port stop working after six months from so much work? No, I mean, it's a digital port and it's not like old ports where the, the prongs are sticking out that get bent easily. So I don't see that being a problem. Um, and then across the bottom, of course, we have the, um, now these are not 
it is stereo speakers, but this is not stereo speakers. So this side's gonna be a speaker. This is gonna be the microphone that's just made to look like the speaker because it's symmetrical. And then the stereo is actually in the front. So it's, it's a front and bottom facing, which is kind of uh, interesting. All buttons are the same. And then of course, have the new dual camera on the back. Uh, and thankfully, as per last year, all the FCC type stuff is all removed and just says iPhone, not iPhone 7. So like some of you are saying, the only way you can tell a difference is really, I mean, the dual camera on the plus and then the difference in the lines besides that. Um, I can confirm that the home button does not click. So it is a, a solid state but most people knew that. Um, sorry, just answering comments and stuff here. At a school pep rally, that's awesome. All right, I'm gonna go get this guy turned on. Um, let me warn the fiance that my phone got. Um, make sure that it sends. Let's turn this guy on and then I'll jump into the comments section while it's booting up here. All right, let's see if I can. Oh, my desk is so messy. I pride myself on having a clean desk, but right now it is not. Tell Greg I can wait. Uh, all right, let me let me tie this up. I, I got all the cleaning supplies out for, we're rearranging our entire place. So that's why it's a bit messy. I know I'm making an excuse. How'd my friend do at the Apple store? Um, he, unfortunately no pluses. I th I'm not sure about Justin who's in San Francisco if he ended up settling for a seven. Um, my friend in South Carolina got a seven. Uh, got my black iPhone 7 plus today was supposed to get at 931. Hey, congrats for that, Mac. You, if you want, if you want to trade, I'm all for you. Um, not being curved like the note that I like the notes curve a lot. I think definitely think it's one of the best phones I've ever held. Uh, this feels nice. I mean, it feels like an iPhone, so it's not bad, but, uh, I really like the notes curve. Uh, I like the slight curve on the note much more than the pretty aggressive curve on the S7 edge. Quad HD screen. Uh, I definitely agree with Zachary. I wish it was an AMOLED display. Uh, I don't care for anything higher than, I don't care for 4K or 1440. I care about it when I think about it, about tech specs and on paper, but I mean, retina display is just fine. So let's go on. Ooh, that, ta that haptic feel. That is different. I am in the United States. And do that. I'm not going to show you my password. Uh, the home button is very interesting. It it definitely has a cool uh, response to it, um, but it definitely is different. <laughs> awesome! Everyone just saw my phone number. Whatever. Things are good. Um, I will say that if anyone wants to Skype or anything, I do have it set up. Um, so if anyone calls. Um, do I need, oh. Attempt to activate this. Sorry, I'm not showing the phone too much. It's all carrier personal information that I don't really care to uh, to share, but there's the bag. This is gonna look nice for the video though, because I have, my plan for the video, obviously doing a review is I have space gray and black everything else. So the gold will create a nice contrast, I think. I don't know why it feels bigger or heavier or thicker. I have no idea. 
I'm pretty sure they're about the same dimensions. This one might be a little thicker, obviously the camera bump, but I don't know. What do you, ooh, what do you guys think? Uh, the Note does have an AMOLED display, yes. Location services. I'm all about those locations. Uh, touch ID, continue, place finger. The haptic feedback is, is very interesting. This is how I hold my phone. It vibrates my bottom pinky and the whole like back half of the phone. So it's it's very interesting. Passcode. All right, restore from iCloud backup. Actually, so you can see the screen. Uh, this is kind of interesting. So they've always had the three options. I don't remember last year a direct move data from Android. Um, it's because they did in the past year or two they did release a move to iOS app on Android. Um, so yeah, it's it's cool. Just gonna type in my password. So what feature are you guys most excited for on the seven or seven plus? The fact that it's water resistant, the dual camera, the cool uh, processor. Uh, 6s plus ah yes I have double authentication do to do, do terms and conditions we read them together right guys Am I that's a good question, Zachary. Am I going to switch to the iPhone 7 full-time or stay with the OnePlus 3? Uh, this does have my main SIM card back in it uh, today at 10.41 a.m. Uh, yes. Oh, this is really cool. So I'll get to your question in a second, Zachary. Sorry, I kind of stopped. But um, every other year, if you are restoring to a device that doesn't have the most up-to-date software, you had to, like, plug through iTunes and go through this whole extra thing, but now it's allowing you to basically run the update first and then uh, it will be able to restore. So that is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, the stereo speakers I will definitely have included in the review. Um, but Zachary, I still love my OnePlus 3, so that is still here. Um, so you guys can see a size difference the iPhone is definitely bigger. Oh, what's up, Greg? I don't know if you're allowed to be here. Maybe, you know, if all your fr all your Android diehard fans. Just kidding. Um, what camera am I? I'm just using my webcam. I just have it on a long uh, cord. I have the uh, Logitech. There you go. So just a little webcam. I'll be. Uh, I'm not. I'm not doing the professional filming for the unboxing. I just want to get everything set up. Preparing for update. Everyone, you you just gotta love loading bars, right? It's just, it's just good stuff. Some music would be nice. All right. Uh, what's uh? I got Apple Music. What's a recommended song? There's a uh, Apple rap song if you guys have ever heard from Time Flies. <laughs> Play something without copyright. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'll start beatboxing myself. That'll work. Uh, let me see. What's going to do? You can barely like see the two lenses in there. It's it's really interesting. I wish. This webcam 
could focus at a closer thing, but um, you almost can't, like the housing is like totally pitch black. I don't know, maybe it's about the same. Um, there we go, almost done with the update. Yeah, the haptic feedback, I know at some point after this screen, I will get a um, MKBHD figured it out, basically the three levels of sensitivity. So I'll be doing that uh, for a sec. For, I know someone asked this earlier, but if you want to see the adapter, how long it is, stuff like that, so there it is. Um, it's a very, very flimsy cable. Um, unable to stall update, beautiful. Try installing again. Uh, so it basically just plugs in the bottom, and then let's say I have my Bose headphones here. So that's what it looks like. That's what uh, if you don't have wireless headphones, that's how the next year or two of your life is going to look. It's rebooting here, so that's good. Hopefully it doesn't brick. It's not the end of the world. Um, nothing different about the charging cable and stuff. I'll take out the headphones. So here we are with that. Kind of unfold in a curious way. Apple and their packaging, man. Should chat inside the video? I don't know what you mean by that, Greg. Uh, I do have Skype available, so if, if anyone wants to Skype in, I can take your call and be on the side. Come on. You can do it. All right, so here are, let me move the phone out of the way. Here they are, tangled right out of the box. That's what, um, yeah, that's what I want to see. The material of the cable feels different. Uh, it, it seems thinner. Is that just me? The heck? Um, so it's, it's apparently the same ear pods. The cable definitely feels different. Maybe it's just because it's so new, but it feels like more, it's hard to explain. It's more like slippery and glossy. Um, but then there is the, the end. No more auxiliary. So just like the adapter and everything else. There's your basic headphone setup that the iPhone 7 comes with. There's my nice loading bar, solid. They they definitely look the same, but I'm, I'm telling you like just the, the feel of them. And, and like I said, it could be just because they're brand new out of the box. Um, I haven't unboxed a new one in a while, but I am definitely, what do you guys think about the AirPods? I am. I think I'm definitely going to end up pick, picking those up. Basically, if I just, you know, snip, snip it. Cable. There we go. I have AirPods. Call me, but you're in geography class right now. Nice. Well, if uh, they ask you any questions in your geography class, you could, um, you know, ask us and maybe we can figure it out together. <laughs> The AirPods are a waste of money. Well, that's that's totally objective. Uh, I I did review a hundred and twenty dollar Bluetooth headset, and that you get wireless AirPods. I mean, 
don't get me wrong, I don't look forward to paying $160 for them, but I think they look awesome and are going to be awesome. Is it like Christmas when I unbox? Every single time. So when I used to work at Apple last year, um, I mean, the night I used to work on the, the night of and at midnight or whatever, when they brought out the, you know, hundred boxes of phones to be the new demo units, four years there. And I never, um, never got tired of unboxing, pulling the wrappers off. It's, it's crazy. Uh, it's not updating right now. Um, it is basically, um, it's beginning the restore. So two more short loading screens and it should reboot and start downloading all of my content and things like that. Um, solution by an Android. <laughs> I have an Android. I don't know if you're talking to me or not, but I have an Android. I love my OnePlus 3 very much. Uh, AirPods, I can definitely see people using them, but I baby my stuff to a point where I honestly don't believe I will lose them. But that'd be kind of funny if they had an Apple Care like loss plan for for AirPods. That'd be cool. Um, so yeah, interesting box layout this time. Uh, nothing new about that stuff. Although, did you guys see that? Um, actually, I'll try bring it up here if I can. Let me try find it. I think it was JBL or someone came out with Apple. Uh, da, 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 da. I think, God, I forget who it was. I think, I want to say it was, no, it wasn't a JBL. Let's go to Mac rooms. I guess I can turn this on for you guys. Um, A10 chip, 2 gigs of RAM. Yes, so it was confirmed if you didn't know that the the Plus, one of the other reasons to go with Plus is it does have 3 gigs of RAM. Um, I, I don't think I am pulling Greg to the iPhone side just just yet. I'm sure he's just bored at work or something. Um, no, I'm kidding. But my goal is to get him to at least try. He, he's had plenty of iPhone stuff in the past. Um, do, do, do. Here it is. I don't know... Greg, I think I got a text. You are my first uh, text. This is, so this is the startup screen. Um, Greg was not happy that I didn't, he didn't get an alert. I, mean, I keep trying to press the home button. Uh, it's so interesting. I know I just showed you my phone password. I don't really care about that, but I am not showing you my Apple ID. To do it is going to take a little bit of getting used to this home button it's a very very nice home button don't get me wrong um but it's definitely different apple pay stuff sorry i'm keeping the phone away because i don't know what's going to necessarily pop up on the next screen <laughs> uh tr 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 proof of another device all right, Siri time. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. Perfect. Hey Siri's ready. Siri on my other devices just went crazy. Share with app developer. Share, I'm a nice person. All right, so meet the new home button. This is the new screen. Uh, so may your iPhone's experience even, 
Make your iPhone experience even more personal by choosing the right click for you. Uh, get started, so choose my click. Definitely don't like one. Uh, so basically what it's doing is when I choose a number, when I click with one, it's a very faint uh, haptic feedback. This one's a little stronger. Um, and then this one is, is very prominent. I definitely don't like one. Ooh, I know I can change this later. I'm gonna go with three for now. Nope, I'm going two, going in the middle. That's where I'm at. Uh, definitely don't want zoomed display. On standard, get started. Yeah. So now all the start comes in. Let me jump back to comments. Uh, nowhere near the territory of six gigs on a one plus three. I agree. However, optimization very good. Uh, did I get my new in the mail? Uh, I would have. I'm impatient, so I have UPS hold it at their facility, and then I drive 45 minutes. Um, to pick it up, which is super fun. So hopefully all my apps start coming in the next short little bit. Um, what's new in photos? Use iCloud photo library. Yes, please. What's up tech Rome? Thank you very much, Tycron. That's that's uh, very nice of you. I appreciate it greatly. Um, it kind of feels like you're clicking, but then it also kind of doesn't. So it's it's very uh, interesting. Oh, I guess we can uh, try out the camera here. That's what that's the reason I bought the Plus, right? Yes, you can access that. So let's use the mouse as subject. So this is one time. So this is using the wide angle camera and then simply tap. Wow. That's pretty cool. And then I can go anywhere. Even at 10 X, it's pretty good. So there's wide anywhere in between. And then you just tap to jump back. Now, do you get it in video mode too? Okay. That's nice. So, the nice thing is you, you do get it in all moods. I guess I didn't think about that when I first saw it. Um, I'm very happy that both cameras are accessible in all shooting modes. I don't know why you would want it in pan panorama, but hey, it's there. So both cameras are available on all um, stuff. I don't want to take a picture yet. Let's see if music's coming in. Cool. Now apps is where apps where to access your location. Yep. Nope. Not on this phone. Pretty much everything. I have. Nearly 600 apps that need to install. Hopefully those start coming in soon. Because I do not want to re-download 600. So this is what this is looks like. Oh, got to authenticate it. So this is what, um, whew, it's bright. let me lower the display a bit. So this is what it should look like. So I have like five or 600 apps, I believe. Yeah, camera zoom is pretty solid. Uh, smart to have UPS hold package, bad experience. I, I did have one bad experiment um, the last week. Uh, 18K subs right now. Hey, congrats on 18K, that's awesome. I'm just trying to get to like 5K. Um, I'm thinking about buying the new iPhone. What do you say iPhone 6S Plus or iPhone 7 Plus? Never had an iPhone before. Depends on your budget. I mean, personally, if I'm trying out something, excuse me, hiccups randomly. Uh, if I'm trying something out new, I wanna try the latest and greatest thing. Um, that's just me personally. 
but um, if you want to go a little bit more cheaper out, the, this is impossible to find right now. I mean, um, if you pre-order a 7 Plus, you'll get it in like two months, maybe. Um, but a 6S Plus, you can go out and buy probably right now. I'm not selling um, my old iPhone. I'm on AT&T Next, so this guy uh, will be returned to AT&T within the next couple of days. I must say, I am slightly, let me see if the apps are attempting to restore. Huh, I did choose restore from backup, right? Does someone remember if I clicked restore from backup? I did do that, right? So those are all off, why would they be off? Did I do this wrong? Did I really not restore from for my cloud backup. All right. Well, I'll take a look at that in a minute. So, I'm about to head out for now. It's been about 36 minute unboxing. Cool. Uh, I really appreciate everyone watching. Definitely check back uh, later today. Um, I will live stream again once. Here. Once I get the phone all set up and get my oops, camera and everything starting to film. I will uh, be back and with some behind the scenes type stuff, but got to check out, um, get everything set up first. I don't want to, it was hard enough bantering while I was having the loading screen. So yeah, I'll be back guys. Uh, so definitely stay tuned on the channel and thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you then.